How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today's quick tip, I want to talk about caches within After Effects, specifically the disk cache. Now, a lot of you guys are probably using SSDs instead of traditional hard drives nowadays, which means that you probably have smaller disk size than what you're used to on traditional hard drives. And that means that, you know, 10 gigabytes here and there actually adds up pretty fast. And you want to minimize this as much as possible. So After Effects uses a lot of disk space, uh, specifically because of the disk cache. And that's just because After Effects is trying to be very efficient and is trying to cache everything so that when you RAM preview, it's going to save all the information onto the disk so that whenever you change something and you go back to the previous changes, it doesn't need to recalculate everything over again. It's just going to read from the cache that it's saved on the disk, which is a lot faster than recalculating everything. So, you know, After Effects is trying to cache everything on the hard drive and trying to use that information as much as possible instead of recalculating everything over again. And this can take up a lot of disk space within your hard drive. So here I have an application called Daisy Desk. This is a Mac only application available in the link down below in the article. Um, but you know, this is just a program that displays, you know, where all your space is going on your hard drive. And as you can see, according to this program, I have 25 gigabytes of cache. And this is not too bad. You know, a lot of people have like 80, 100, 200, depending on, you know, how often you work as well as, you know, what kind of stuff you do. So this is not too bad because I pretty much clear it out regularly. Um, but people can have a lot of cache here. And as you can see, 25 gigabytes is quite a lot if you're using an SSD and this is all just cache. So if you go in here, you can see that we have the Adobe folder here in the After Effects folder. And as you can see, my version of After Effects 13.1 has 24.6 gigabytes of cache. And if you have different versions installed, you probably have more versions of folders in this directory right here. And so, you know, you can go in here and you can actually uh, show in Finder. And it's going to open the directory up. And as you can see, we have all these little folders here. And these are all just caches. And you can actually go in here and just delete all these folders manually within Finder or Explorer. And that will free up your disk space. You can do that for you know, version 13, version 12.2, version 12.1, you know, all the different versions that you have installed. You can go ahead and clear the caches manually using you know, your uh, file explorer or Finder. Or in After Effects, you can go into the preferences and go to media and disk cache and go ahead and just hit empty disk cache right here. And another really cool feature about After Effects is that you can actually tell After Effects how much disk cache space you want to allocate for your hard drive. So in my case, I have 23 uh, right here, and this will be the maximum disk cache size. Um, so you, can, you, know, you can kind of limit that uh, using After Effects here, but occasionally it gets kind of out of control. And if you want to free up some space, go ahead and just hit, hit the empty disk cache or just delete all the caches manually if you have multiple versions installed in Finder or Explorer. And that will clear up a lot of space in After Effects here. So pretty cool. Um, so if, you know, if, if you're running a low in space, go ahead and clear your disk cache. This won't actually delete any project files or anything like that. It's just going to delete the cache. And so you know, if you're not using anything or you don't have any active projects, just go ahead and clear the cache. And that will just delete all the calculations and RAM previews that After Effects calculated in cache into the disk here. So pretty cool tip. That's pretty much it. Just clear your disk cache. I have more links down below in the article, so check that out. So that's pretty much it, guys. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.